This was you when you were an Olympic swimmer. But this is me now. I don't think so. That's what I used to. <laughs> Somehow I don't believe you. Are you locals of the area? We are. Are you Londoners? Yeah. Oh, I'm a Londoner. Oh, you're a Londoner. I'm from Islington. You're from Islington? Um, I am as well. You are? Did you all come from North London? East London. East London. North London. I'm walking stone. East really? London, East London. North London. See, this is key because what I was told was after the war, after the Blitz, they moved Londoners um, to, yeah, Harlow. to Harlow. Yeah. yeah. But they separated, so North Londoners went to Harlow, and in Basildon, yeah, perhaps, was it the... Like Stephen Each and That's it, yeah. New yeah. Town. Yeah. Got Stephen Each and yeah. Lichworth, yeah. Harlow. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then after the war, yeah. they... Yeah, but Harlow was... Yeah, because we bombed out London. Yeah. And moved everyone out of New Towns. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. So, How would you find... Have you lived here your whole life as well? No, I've only been here eight years. Really? Were you gravitated towards it because of the Londoners? Because of the London influence? No. No? We had to move. All oh, right. Um, you were causing trouble we... in your area. <laughs> no. You're a troublemaker. We, we had to move. Yeah. We kept getting evicted, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. no, no. So, we yeah. couldn't stay in Walthamstow. Yeah. And um, we couldn't move too far out. Yeah. My husband works in Walthamstow. Yeah. So, the nearest was Harlow. Of course. But right. We, and, um, we live in the posh part. Dear, what's the posh part? We live in what oh. they call Churchgate Street. Yeah. I've heard that. It's, oh, I'm going to go there. Oh, Next, well, actually. I live. I, live in the, um, I live in the in the place called God Safe. Really? Which is a charity. All right. It's called the Harlow Charities for the Poor. All right. Alan lives in Fitzwilliam, which is an old people's home. <laughs> and I live another right. posh part. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Are you all fibbing me? Are you pulling no, me leg no, all no, here? No, no, the truth. You're I'm telling the truth. truth. I moved to Church Langley. You moved to Church, Church Langley. If you go further down to where we are, yeah. Our church, well, my church, that was built in the 11th century. Jesus. Yeah, it's very, very and it's got, is that St Mary's? Yes. yes. St Mary's Church. Beautiful around there. Is it? It's got the bows. How long does it take for me to walk down to where you are? Oh. Is it straight down? Yeah, yeah, just keep going down the road. Lovely to speak to you, yeah? Bye. All the best. So we have arrived at the Green Man. It's a 14th to 15th century coaching. I believe it's the oldest public house in Harlow. What's significant, this was an old road here, um, a coaching road that traveled all the, way to Nor uh, all the way to Norwich from London. So people would take about 27 hours to get from London to Norwich, but they would stay here at the Green Man um, during the 19th century. Just overnight, because it's such a long route. Look, I've been tracked down by it again. Look, hello. Hello. Are we, hello. <laughs> we did that. I was actually recording it. Well, yeah. I am now. Oh, but look, but this she, you said you were going to find me, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. We're following him. <laughs> Actually, I'd like you to jump in so we can, then you can walk back. Oh, then we can walk, yeah, I can walk back. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to do that then? Yeah. Sod it. These ladies are going to take me to where? Church Street. Church Street. Street. Church Street. Street. They're going to take, right, okay. But let it be known, don't just get in anyone's old car. Old car. <laughs> Especially be careful, <laughs> be careful. Listen, I'm nearly 70 years of age, <laughs> who <do you> want <laughs> me? <laughs> right, luckily, I'm safe, right? They didn't take me down a back alley and beat me up, Probably. all right? Where's Jordan? But then we've got Shell and Sue. That's the church store over there. That's it, that's all we've got, just that's that. But in the back of that, there's a cafe. Go on. And we used to be able to sit in there. Oh, right. But since the lockdown, Yeah. He uses a takeaway. So what we do, we we buy our takeaways there and then sit in the bus shelter and have our breakfast. This is John. Hi, John. Hello, John. How are you doing? You're right. Yeah, I'm part of the bus stop gang. Here. You're part of the bus stop gang. Yeah, we got a little bus stop gang that hang around there. Do you eat the takeaways at the bus stop as well? Yeah, we do. <laughs> That's a restaurant over in that there. All oh, right. We eat seven o'clock till nine. Right. Oh yeah. Feed the dogs. Is it is it an actual bus stop? The buses no, still come. No buses there's no buses. <laughs> right, anyway. There's no buses. So now it's a meeting point. Yeah. It is basically. Right. It, it actually is a meeting. We do have a waiting list for coming in. Yeah. We don't believe we get very busy. You know. Every <laughs> single every single dog dogs. comes along. It's right. Like, because my old friend George. Yeah. Who I sit with here for morning. They've now dedicated it to us, haven't they? And it's called. 
Sue and George's dog stop. Yeah. <laughs> That's Sue. Hang That's on a me, minute. and there's George. What? Sue and George's dog shop? Stop. Dog, dog stop? Yeah. Because every single dog yeah. comes along every single morning Go on. and gets fed by us. Really? Yes. What brought you here then? Well, what happens is you have to, as you said, you have to qualify to live here. Yeah. So you've got to be on your own. No, so my husband died a couple of years ago. Oh, right. Right, so because I was homeless, Yeah. they give you a charity place. Did you apply for it then? The, yeah. the woman that came to evict me from my house yeah. when my husband died, Yeah. she got this place for me. Oh, amazing. Right, but yeah. you have to be on a benefit. Obviously, you have to be over 60 at the time, but yeah. you only have to be over 55. You have to be over 60 on your own, and you have to have a connection with Harlow. Well, my connection with Harlow is that I was, well, I still am, but because of COVID, I can't. I've been um, a, a volunteer at Princess Alexander Hospital for the last 13 years. Right, right. So that was my, plus the back, you have to be able to benefit. Well, I was as a pensioner anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that's sad. But you couldn't just. I'll show you inside in a minute. You can't just get it. Right, go on then. This is where you live, is it? This is where I live. Okay. But this is called. Look. Go on. See the? Can you see that up there? Right. Hang on a bit. Okay. Can we read that? Charity of Newman and Perry Watlington, erected for the use for. Of what? Four. Of four poor widows. Yeah. AD 1867 by John Watlington, Perry Watlington Esquire of Moor Hall in this parish to take the place of the two known as Newman's almshouses. So these were arm, almshouses. They are almshouses. They are. Yeah. I bet you feel so lucky. I do. Yeah, I to be. To That's incredible. Can I have a look inside? Of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. Come in. This is at the little house. Oh, right. And this is the, um, this is, this is the living room. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, take your shoes off. Can you not do the washing, though? <laughs> You've got your washing out. Don't put the washing, because I'm definitely washing. Right, so in here. Yeah. Right, you can come through. Yeah. Right. This is the bedroom, but this is, well, it's supposed to be a bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the wet room. And oh. that was me when I was an Olympic swimmer. <laughs> right? This was you when you were an Olympic swimmer. But this is me now. I don't think what so. That's what I used to. <laughs> Somehow I don't believe you. Who is, who is that swimmer? Who is me. that? Is it? Yes. Is it seriously? Yep. Seriously? <laughs> yep. I don't believe you. Really? Yeah. No, because you know he looks like the Olympic, the Olympic swimmer. Um, what's her name now? The one that that, that won oh, in twenty twelve. Yeah, I go swimming all the time. Yeah. Look, when was this shot, then? When was this? That was shot because a girl who I used to swim with wanted to go to university to study photography. Really? So she asked me if I would. No. What year was it? What year was it? Well, I'm seventeen. Oh, I was sure. about. I was sixty there. Were you? Well, no, I was about fifty nine there. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Crikey, well, you're good swimmer. But, but yeah, this is what I look like now. This and this is where it went wrong. What happened? <laughs> yeah, what I put on there, what went wrong? How did I get like this? Oh, so I've, gone, I've gone from that. <laughs> it happens, it happens to all of us, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, so this is, the but, little, this is when I want to go to the seaside. Oh, great. You see, this is it, you don't need to. Well, holiday, so I just come in here and look at this. Oh, nice. There we are. Yeah. Nice little places though. Lovely, what lovely. Yeah, it's Very nice. good. Nice. Don't put the yeah. washing. Yeah, it's just like a little, just for one. One yeah. person. Yeah, nice, no, perfect, yeah. perfect. So this is all, as I say, four of us, you, but you can't have anybody. You've got to be on your own. No, no husband and wives. No, like that. no. The arms house that you live in there, Yeah. how long can you stay in there? So for the rest of my life. Really? Yeah. Or all during the COVID, yeah. He was having little meetings in the... Hall. Really? In the front of the church? Yeah. So used to gather... Well, that's a really nice place to gather, isn't it? Week. Oh, it's lovely. What, just various people from the community here? Yeah. From church coming. Yeah. You know, little quiz or little chat. Just that's lovely. Yeah, it's nice. It's lovely. 
on my own. Really. Yeah. You sit round here on your own? Yeah, we sit, yeah, sit round in the, the benches. On the benches? Where are those? We're up there. Down down there. there. If you walk through there, it's a couple of Do you like, there. what do you think about? I, I get a lot of peace walking around yeah, tombs and stuff. I know it sounds a bit well, morbid. It's peaceful. I, over I there. sit down here on my own for about two hours every day. Just yeah. sit here. Dear, what do you think about? Just peace, quiet. I read. Read a book. Really? It's beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. And a lot of people, when you think about graveyards it sounds depressing and people don't want to no. be focusing on their death or something like that. they don't want to be associating their life with it but i think it sets you free i think focusing on not fo you don't sit there thinking about it but i do oh, no. think coming now and again coming to a mm. coming to a graveyard gives you a sense of perspective and peace doesn't it yeah well that's what we find yeah i mean definitely. some people might think it morbid but i don't no no and round there you've got all war graves, first world uh, as well. Oh, yeah. It's really old. It's like yeah. And that that's the other part. Oh look. Yeah. That one says yeah, he comes out at night, that one. He what? He comes out at night. <laughs> <laughs> We've got people. Someone's that come trying to escape. Here. Look, it's like um what's what's that Michael Jackson video? Yeah, oh thriller. Yeah, thriller. 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 Yeah. Do they, do they come out when you're here? Do they do they pop out the spirits and the ghosts? Eh? Yeah. Bones getting out of there. You'd be surprised what goes yeah. in the George Very comes weird. here, our friend George. He sits here at five o'clock in the morning sometimes. Does he? Bird watching with his camera. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, what kind of bird watching? Yeah, bird watching. It is lovely. Yeah, look, he's beautiful. Yeah. How could you yeah. not be proud of him? But you, you don't come from this area, I but come you come out. down. I, come I out work here. Oh, where do you work? I work. I, I'm a carer. Right. I look after a lady who's oh. 100. Who's 100. No way. Yeah. Um, so I'm here every day. We go to the coffee mornings. I take her out for walks. Beautiful. Here and so. Oh, that's lovely. That's yeah. why I'm here every day. Yeah. yeah. And this so is nice. where I met this nutty lady from here <laughs> as well, you know? <laughs> I'll bet you two have a right laugh, didn't you? Oh, we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> The local tearaways. <laughs> the local hoodlums. <laughs> you say there, let me just let me just focus on this then, yeah? Beautiful garden, isn't it? Right. So you were saying what? In the summer what? During the summer. <laughs> you have to edit a lot of this. During the summer, <laughs> yeah. I have friends over. Yeah. And we have like a drinking party in the yeah. gardens. Yeah. And people walk by and think it's actually the pub garden. And they <laughs> all come in. <laughs> They think it's the pub garden? Yeah. Christ, there must be a lot of you out here. <laughs> Shell's got to go, haven't you? Yeah, I've got to go back to work. Right, got to go back to work. Nice to meet you, Shell. Bye, See you later. Everybody knows everybody. Do you like that? No. <laughs> It's, it's you, of speak, you, you can't avoid it, can you? I was going to say, you seem to like it. You seem to like well, the, fact the fact that everyone... Because obviously, you are like a major part of this community. Yeah, you said you're I all meeting in, in, terms of the, in, in front of the church. Yeah. You all meet in the communal garden. Yeah. We all you meet all meet at the bus stop. <laughs> so you are, even though you say you don't like it, yeah. you are a strong part of the community of and you actually do like it. Yeah. There's so, something nice in not being anonymous in a sense, isn't there? The yeah. fact that you can all know each other's business in a sense. Yeah, we all look after each other. There you go. There you go. This is Chantry House. Yes, but it used to be called the Churchgate Hotel. Right. And this is 30 years ago, I had my wedding reception in there. And, and I never in a million years yeah. thought that I would ever be able to come and live in this... Isn't that a weird twist of yeah, fate, fate, like serendipitous yeah, yeah, fate, isn't find. it? Yeah, it, honestly, I never in a million years, because who could afford to live here? No, so you, but you came from Islington and your friend just mentioned this place in Harlow. Yeah. That's just so weird. Yeah, it is. Very intimidated when I came to live here. Yeah. Because I could not believe the, the wealth of the place. Absolutely. I felt like a fish out of water. Really? Yeah. That's, I guess that's why you keep saying you feel so sort of lucky and you can never afford it. Well, you wouldn't be able to afford it. That flat that I live in, yeah. apparently, would cost you £300,000 just for that one flat. Jesus. Yeah. Bye, Adam. See you later. Thank See you, you so nice much. You. Cheers for being a tour guide <laughs> around Taro. <laughs> See you later, Sue. Take care of this. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> What an absolute legend. Right, 
<laughs> Brilliant, see you later. <laughs> tremendous, tremendous stuff.